The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they had laid him. When she, said, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, let, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. And Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you don't mind that I am repeating this homily from last year. What is the title of the first novel published by Jose Rizal in Spanish in 1887? Thank you. I wonder what the now notoriously famous young contestants of the Pinoy Big Brothers, Quisby, would have answered. I hope most Filipinos would still know that the right answer is not Majoha, but Noli Me Tangere. But I wonder how many Filipinos are aware that the words Noli Me Tangere are borrowed from the Latin version of today's Gospel reading. They were the words uttered by Jesus to Mary Magdalene when he appeared to her in that graveyard. Usually, ang translation ay touch mina. But the better and more accurate translation is actually stop holding on to me. Huwag kang Mangunyapit sa akin. As we heard it in the English version of the New American Bible. I wonder, you know, if Jose Rizal had not deliberately intended to address these words, no limitangere, to his beloved Filipinas, his patria adorada, whom he had personified in the novel with the character of Sisa, the woman who was grieving and who had lost her sanity because her two sons, Crispin and Basilio, had gone missing. I wonder if Rizal had not intentionally used this line from the Gospel today as his cryptic way of saying, I know that I will be a dead man walking after I publish this novel, I know that the Spanish colonial authorities will red-tag me 
as a filibustero, meaning subversive, and they will want me dead. But what will happen to my beloved country, to the Crispins and the Basilios of this nation, if we all hold on to our personal security and refuse to risk our lives to redeem our native land? I am inclined to think that Rizal had meant this especially for his family and his friends who tried their best to persuade him to go easy with his anti-establishment writings. He must have meant it for the people who love or who tried to convince him to just use a pseudonym, a pen name, Nang kung magsusulat ka rin lang ng nobela, huwag mong ilagay ang pangalan mo. Gumamit ka ng a pen name or a pseudonym. Well, hindi siya gumamit ng pseudonym. Well, if this is true, it means that the Noli Metangere was practically the equivalent of his ultimo adios. The poem he eventually wrote and left as parting words bago siya pinatay sa bagong bayan. That poem na minemorize nating lahat nung tayo'y nasa high school pa. Well, no limit tangere could have been Rizal's way of saying, do not hold on to me, let go of me. My departure will be bitter but it will be for a good purpose if it will help awaken this sleeping nation to finally learn to fight for her freedom, to stand for the future of her children. Alam niyo, walang ascension story ang Gospel of John. Ang ascension ay nasa Luke and Acts lamang. What you have in John in the gospel is what we heard today. Jesus is leaving a message for his disciples through Mary Magdalene. Sabi ni Jesus, Do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father. There is your ascension in John. And he said, But go to my brothers and you tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father to my God and your God. Meaning, ina-announce ni Jesus ang kanyang departure. He is going away. And it's not supposed to be a sad departure. It should be a happy one. Because kumbaga sa baseball, para siyang home run. For all of us, pagkatapos na magdusa at mamatay, now, He will also lift up our mortal humanity to divinity and permanently connect us to God. Ascension will complete the bridge that Jesus had built through His cross, through the Paschal mystery. You know, maraming beses ko nang binabanggit ang Ukraine and I imagine the people Yung nanatili sa Ukraine, around 6 million have already fled as refugees, pero majority of them are still there. Nandun pa rin sila, suffering from daily bombardments, living on a day-to-day -day basis, not knowing if today might be the end for them. Well, Come to think of it, what is it anyway that we tend to hold on to when it is time for us to go? We're all just passing in this world, aren't we? Yung message ni Jesus kay Mary Magdalene can actually be rewarded in another way. Take courage. I have overcome the world. Kasi katulad ni Magdalena, malakas yung tendency nating mangunyapit sa daigdig. 
to hold on desperately and to grieve as if there is no hope anymore. Walang duda, maraming madidilim na bagay na nangyayari sa buhay natin. But St. Paul keeps reminding us, if you are to grieve, you must never grieve as if there is no hope. Ewan ko, kung narinig na ninyo yung story, the parable, kung ano daw yung easiest way to catch a monkey. Actually, it's not a parable. It's scientifically proven. Sabi nila, kung gusto mong manghuli ng unggoy, all you need to do is get a coconut, make a little hole, and then put some colorful and flavorful candies inside na maaamoy ng unggoy at makikita niya. So what will the monkey do? He will slide his hand into the hole and grab the candies. And as soon as he has grabbed the candies, hindi na niya bibitawan. Ganun pala yung unggoy. So what happens? His hand will get stuck inside the coconut. Why? Dahil ayaw niyang bitawan yung candy. And yet, the secret of being set free is so simple. Bitawan mo yan. Let go of it. Hindi kaya ito isang magandang reminder habang papalapit na tayo sa eleksyon. Please, mga kababayan, let us not allow our country to be trapped like a monkey for just a few pieces of candies in a coconut. Please,